Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I recently got asked a question on my YouTube channel and thought, let me make a quick video to explain things better. Well, over here you can see my anime shader on this anime character. And yes, this is 3D. However, because we've uh, canceled out all the colors, there's only two tones, it looks flat or 2D from any specific angle, which is awesome. So we want to copy this shader effect or any nodes that you might have on your collection to another blender file so and i'll try and be a bit more in depth in this example so the first thing you want to do is let's select this ear this ear has got the effect it's perfect awesome so now we've got all these different nodes here that make up this effect so i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to press Control g Control g g stands for group uh, so control G and you've grouped it together. You can press tab to exit the group, tab to enter the group. We're going to exit the group. I'm going to chuck it over here. And we're going to call this, <coughs> pardon me, anime shader 007. I'm going to copy that name and I'm going to put it over here by the name and by the label as well. Once you've done this, you just have to make sure that this file is saved. So I'm going to press file save as I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to save this file as let's let's save this file as anime tat example right we press save and that's it job is done now all we need to do is click file new go to a new blender scene and I'm going to press shift a mesh s10 select this shift uh, D to duplicate and press Y just so we have some sort of comparison and then we're going to press uh, we're going to select this go into a render view mode we're going to select this one over here and we want to add that anime shader to that cube all right so all we need to do is go to our shaders currently uh, this is what we have we could change the color here, but it's not exactly let's make sure it's not the same it's currently not the anime shader so how do we do it so we press file and we click append now, when you click append, you need to find out where you saved that uh, Blender file to. In this case, we saved it to our desktop. And over here, it says animate tat example. And because we're clicking append, which is something with inside of Blender, you can actually uh, look at the uh, specifics within this saved Blender file. So when we double click this, it opens up all these extra files you don't normally see. And we created our own node group called anime shader 007 and this would have been saved under node tree and inside of node tree all we need to do is type in anime and there we go anime shader 007 double click on that it's imported now how do we add it to our scene all you have to do is press shift a go to group and click on anime shader 007 oh hold on let's go try that again boom and we can replace that with that and at first it will look a little bit weird uh, which is fine and I'm going to press tab to expand it all so we can see that everything is saved and that's the end of this tutorial I'm just going to make it look like an anime effect first before I continue and make this red but that's pretty much it hopefully that explains how this whole process works and makes you feel a little bit more comfortable with the process um, now please don't forget to like and subscribe and just for interest's sake, there we can see the difference of the effect side by side. So when you use the anime shader, it's got a proper flat tone. And when you don't, the colors are more gradual and it doesn't look like it's a drawing. Yep, works perfectly. Very happy with that. Hopefully that explains your question regarding um, how to copy notes to a new Blender file and where the file is saved. It's saved in the Blender file that you're pulling it from if that makes sense. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Cheers.